Hey everyone, all right, so we made it out to the track, got the Camaro charging up. It died on me updating the V5, but all is well. Uh, the Buick, we ended up putting a tune-up in it just to test for like the half mile stuff, just to start running it and uh, doing that type of stuff, just to leave real soft off the brake, and then we'll ramp it in later. We're not trying to like 60 foot the car hard, because on the uh, half mile stuff, we aren't able to actually turn up the boost and leave, because it's all uh, virgin concrete. So uh, I'm also working on it with uh, Steven on his Camaro over here. We're getting it, uh, trying to get it dialed in. He changed a few things on it, got HP tuners. So trying to get it uh, all set up so where we can data log and make sure we know what's going on. So uh, we're gonna go make a pass here in the Buick and go check the car and then make a car pass in the Camaro. So. Well, uh, hopefully everything goes well today. The Buick's in the lane, so we just put a good soft tune-up in it to see what it can do here at the track and see what we can mile an hour by the quarter because we kind of know the progression of numbers. We need to go 200 and a half. That's what we're out here to do is get that uh, dialed in. We'll see what it does on its first pass. And the two-step is set super low, so we're trying to leave on zero boost and just ramp it in as it goes, as if it was a like raw uh, trap. So not too bad, the Buick on the first pass ever here at the track went 160, it went like 10 something, but as you can tell in the video, no 60 foot in there. We had no power in it, probably didn't even leave on any boost. Uh, got salty all ready to go, so I'm gonna go up there now and make my first hit of the year in the Camaro. pretty loose today even in my car you guys can see it spun and all that stuff so uh, it's just not working that great it's not very sticky so we're just hoping for the best trying to get a uh, good baseline for an airstrip attack So, gonna make the second hit in Salty. I slowed down the ramp a little bit and making sure that the methanol kit comes on. So, hopefully, this will be a good pass. We're just waiting for him to clean up the track again. in the bias supplies again and try it and hopefully try to figure out these tires brand new set of tires that I've never ran before so maybe I just gotta figure out the right pressure and then the 60 foot will come back around. All right, it's so gonna make pass number three with the Buick. Uh, the track's been pretty iffy up top so we just left the tune-up in and he's gonna change lanes. It's cooled down so maybe it's not as greasy. So hopefully we can go all the way down through there. If not, we're gonna probably figure out a boost by gear here soon to like try to, uh, the car starts spinning once it shifts so that's what we gotta kind of figure out and fix.
the 60 foot again, it's still only one of 158, and it's leaving on like six or eight, seven pounds, uh, actually eight or nine pounds. I'll have to look at that last log, but I don't know why it's not. As you can see, the tires are like super low. They're like 12 pounds. I started out at like 17, went to 15, down to like 13, 12. So we'll just have to play with it. I gotta figure out the suspension and that tire setup and figure out why. The car is not 60 foot and like it used to. I'll look over data, look at some old data and compare them, overlay them, and see what the difference is. So that's it for today, guys. Good track day, not bad, not what I wanted, but uh, we're figuring them out and that's part of racing. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.